Imagine an airport, a symbol of progress, slowly disappearing beneath the waves. This is the reality facing Kansai International Airport in Japan. Built on an artificial island, this engineering marvel is sinking, threatening to cripple travel and devastate the local economy. Can engineers save this modern marvel before it's swallowed by the sea? Watch until the end to find out. The ambitious beginning. Building Kansai International Airport. Japan, a country frequently exposed to natural disasters such as earthquakes and typhoons, has a long history of pushing the boundaries of engineering to overcome environmental challenges. Kansai International Airport's origin traces back to the 1960s when the Kansai region faced economic decline. As Osaka and Kobe lost their economic dominance to Tokyo, government officials sought a transformative solution to revitalize the region's economy. The answer was ambitious. Build a state-of-the-art airport to complement the existing Osaka International Airport. However, the project came with significant obstacles. Osaka International Airport was situated in a densely populated residential area, making expansion unfeasible. Memories of violent protests during the construction of Tokyo's Narita Airport still lingered, and officials were eager to avoid similar backlash. Noise pollution from jet engines further underscored the need for a location far from residential zones. After much deliberation, the government settled on an offshore site in Osaka Bay, a decision that would sidestep land acquisition issues and allow for uninterrupted 24-7 operations. Choosing the location. By 1974, a specific site five kilometers off the coast of Osaka Bay was selected. While this choice avoided some challenges, it introduced new ones. The seabed at the location was approximately 18 meters deep and composed of loose alluvial clay, making it highly unstable. Extensive seabed surveys, flight pattern studies, and engineering experiments were required to ensure feasibility. These studies stretched over several years, highlighting the immense complexity of building an airport on reclaimed land. The project also faced resistance from local fishermen who feared the loss of their livelihoods due to environmental changes in Osaka Bay. Some opposition escalated to violence, with mortar attacks and arson targeting construction sites. Eventually, a compensation agreement pacified the opposition, paving the way for construction to officially begin in 1987. The Engineering Challenge Building Kansai International Airport was a monumental engineering challenge. The chosen location in Osaka Bay presented a significant obstacle. The seabed was composed of loose alluvial clay, a material prone to compression and sinking under added weight. Engineers knew from the outset that the island would sink, but the objective was to control and slow the process to a manageable rate. To achieve this, engineers implemented innovative techniques. One key solution was the use of vertical sand drains, deep holes filled with sand, designed to expedite water removal from the clay, thereby speeding up the consolidation process. Additionally, a thick sand blanket was placed on the seabed to compress the clay layers further. These measures were critical in stabilizing the foundation of the artificial island. The scale of the project was extraordinary. For the first island, Island 1, over 1 million vertical sand drains were installed. Island 2, constructed later, required an even greater number, 1.2 million drains. Protective sea walls were also built to shield the airport from natural disasters like typhoons and tsunamis, which frequently threatened Japan. To create the island, mountains of material were transported to the site, elevating the land from 18 meters below sea level to 9.5 meters above. After years of meticulous work, Kansai International Airport officially opened in September 1994. The project was hailed as a modern engineering marvel, reflecting Japan's resilience and innovation in overcoming seemingly insurmountable challenges. The sinking problem. Despite all these efforts, Kansai Airport began sinking faster than anticipated. Kansai International Airport, an engineering marvel built on two artificial islands in Osaka Bay, faces a daunting problem. 
it is sinking. When the airport was constructed, engineers estimated how much the reclaimed land would settle over 50 years. However, reality quickly outpaced their predictions. Yukako Honda, communications director for Kansai Airports, explained that engineers underestimated the difference between laboratory consolidation rates and the actual behavior of thousands of tons of soil in the bay. Reclaimed land acts like a wet sponge. Before it can support the massive weight of airport infrastructure, it must be dried and compacted. To achieve this, construction crews laid five feet of sand atop the seabed and installed 2.2 million vertical pipes. These pipes, filled with sand or fabric wicks, absorbed moisture from the soil layers beneath. The mass of added soil squeezed moisture horizontally and upward, where it was drained or evaporated, consolidating the seabed into a denser, more stable foundation. Despite these measures, the sinking began to exceed expectations early in the project. By 1990, Island 1 had sunk 27 feet instead of the predicted 19. To stabilize the structures, engineers inserted hydraulic jacks beneath 900 columns supporting buildings. These jacks allow adjustments to counter uneven settling, which remains a significant challenge. For example, the passenger terminal's basement has sunk more than the ends of the building. Runways, paved with flexible asphalt instead of concrete, minimize damage from uneven subsidence. Kansai's seawall, made of 48,000 concrete blocks and anchored by steel chambers, was designed to protect the airport from typhoons and tsunamis. Yet, as the islands sink, the risk of overtopping increases. Island 2, predicted to sink below the critical safety threshold by 2023, is particularly vulnerable. If a major typhoon strikes, runways and buildings could be submerged. By 2008, the cost of building and maintaining Kansai had ballooned from $8 billion to $20 billion with ongoing adjustments and repairs. Critics question why such an expense was undertaken to build on reclaimed land. The answer lies in the practicality of offshore construction. Building near city centers ensures accessibility and reduces noise pollution in residential areas. In Kansai's case, avoiding land acquisition disputes made offshore construction more appealing despite the risks. While Kansai International Airport remains operational and vital to Japan's economy, its future is uncertain. Engineers continue to monitor the sinking and implement solutions to slow the process, but the long-term viability of the airport will depend on innovation and resilience. The story of Kansai Airport is a testament to human ingenuity and the challenges of balancing ambition with nature's forces. Current status and future outlook, a balancing act for Kansai Airport. As of December 2023, Kansai International Airport faces a daunting challenge. Island 1 has sunk over 13 meters, far exceeding the initial estimates by 50%. Island 2 isn't faring much better and is projected to sink below the critical 4-meter safety threshold within the next decade. Rising sea levels, driven by climate change, compound the issue. If no effective solution is implemented, Predictions suggest that Kansai Airport could be submerged as early as 2056. Yet despite these pressing concerns, Kansai Airport remains fully operational and continues to adapt. Passenger numbers are climbing, and the demand for flights is increasing, making the airport a vital hub for international and domestic travel. To maintain functionality, Airport management is focusing on improving the passenger experience and expanding infrastructure, even as the ground beneath them continues to sink. The question remains, can Kansai Airport overcome its sinking problem? Without a major engineering breakthrough, the outlook is uncertain. Engineers and scientists are working tirelessly, exploring innovative solutions to slow the sinking process and safeguard the airport against rising sea levels. The Lessons from Construction Understanding the immense effort that went into Kansai Airport's construction sheds light on why this project remains significant despite its setbacks. The project required innovative techniques, such as the use of sand drains, pre-loading, and the construction of durable seawalls. 
These techniques were cutting edge at the time and have since influenced other infrastructure projects worldwide. The use of a 1.5 meter thick sand blanket was a particularly remarkable aspect of the construction process. Engineers deployed specialized pumps and underwater pipes to lay down this sand, ensuring it was evenly distributed across the seabed. This step alone took years and required precision engineering. It highlights the complexity of working in an offshore environment where conditions can be unpredictable and unforgiving. Additionally, constructing the seawalls was an engineering marvel. These barriers were designed to withstand waves as high as 3.5 meters, crashing every six seconds for 50 years. This level of durability was necessary to protect the airport from natural disasters like tsunamis and typhoons, which frequently threatened Japan. The seawalls symbolize the resilience and determination of Japanese engineers in the face of adversity. How did engineers address the sinking problem? When engineers first became aware of the rapid sinking of the airport terminal, they quickly implemented a series of measures to address the issue. One of the most vital solutions was the installation of hydraulic jacks beneath the pillars of the passenger terminal. These jacks provided a means to adjust the structure as the ground beneath it continued to sink. The use of these jacks allowed engineers to make precise alterations to the terminal's foundation, ensuring that the building remained stable despite the shifting ground below. Although this method proved effective, it was a labor-intensive solution that required ongoing adjustments and maintenance to keep the terminal functional for almost three decades. In addition to the jacks, another strategy involved compacting the reclaimed land beneath the airport. Engineers applied pressure to the soft, loose materials, such as sand, that were present in the reclaimed area. This compaction process aimed to stabilize the ground by reducing the movement of these loose materials, which could otherwise lead to further sinking, especially during seismic activity. The compaction technique significantly improved the stability of the area but came with its own set of challenges, requiring substantial resources and continuous monitoring to ensure its long-term effectiveness. Furthermore, engineers undertook deep drilling into the seabed to analyze the layers of clay responsible for the settlement. By studying the characteristics of these layers, including their composition and response to various pressures, the engineers gained valuable insights into the behavior of the ground. This information allowed them to devise more effective strategies to mitigate the ongoing sinking problem. Despite these advanced techniques, however, the engineers have been unable to fully halt the sinking, which continues to be a challenge to this day. The Economic and Social Impacts – Kansai Airport's Role Beyond Aviation Kansai Airport's challenges extend far beyond its sinking islands. This airport isn't just a travel hub. It's a lifeline for Japan's economy and a symbol of resilience and innovation. Serving as a gateway to Osaka, Kobe, and Kyoto, Kansai Airport plays a pivotal role in connecting Japan to the global stage. It's a critical artery for tourism and trade, fueling industries and driving economic growth. The mere thought of losing such an essential piece of infrastructure poses a significant risk to the Kansai region, both economically and socially. From the beginning, Kansai Airport brought more than just flights to the region. It brought jobs, hope, and innovation. At a time when the Kansai region struggled economically, the airport's construction injected much-needed vitality. Thousands of jobs were created, spanning everything from engineering and construction to hospitality and logistics. This economic ripple effect continues today as the airport remains a significant employer and a bustling hub for businesses that depend on its operations. The Ripple Effect of Engineering Innovation Kansai Airport's construction wasn't just a feat of engineering, it was a learning experience that inspired a wave of innovation worldwide. Engineers faced the unprecedented challenge of building a massive structure on soft, unstable clay, and their solutions have influenced infrastructure projects globally. For example, Hong Kong International Airport benefited from Kansai's lessons by removing loose clay entirely to avoid similar sinking problems. 
These advancements underscore the value of adapting and evolving techniques to address unique challenges. The social impact is just as critical. Kansai Airport isn't merely a transit point, it's a connector of people and cultures. It facilitates international relationships, supports tourism, and enhances the global visibility of the Kansai region. Every year, millions of passengers pass through its terminals, experiencing Japan's culture and economy firsthand. However, as Kansai Airport navigates its sinking issues, another pressing threat looms, climate change. Rising sea levels due to melting ice caps and thermal expansion are intensifying the already formidable challenge. For an airport already sinking into a clay seabed, rising oceans present a double-edged sword. Engineers must now contend with not just settlement issues, but also the encroaching sea. Addressing this dual threat requires innovation and collaboration on a global scale. Ideas like floating platforms or enhanced drainage systems have potential, but implementing them will require significant financial and technical resources. Climate change isn't just Kansai's problem, it's a global one. The urgency to develop sustainable solutions for infrastructure worldwide has never been greater. Despite its challenges, Kansai Airport's importance cannot be overstated. It's a cornerstone of the region's economy, a hub for international travel, and a symbol of Japan's innovative spirit. While the future remains uncertain, Kansai Airport stands as a testament to what human ingenuity can achieve, even in the face of immense obstacles. Whether through engineering breakthroughs or global climate action, Kansai's story reminds us that resilience and adaptation are crucial in the modern world. The future of Kansai Airport the future of Kansai Airport, though uncertain, holds promise due to ongoing efforts to address its sinking problem. While challenges remain, engineers and scientists are exploring innovative materials and techniques to slow or even stop the process. With advancements in technology, particularly AI-driven monitoring systems, real-time data can help make more informed decisions about maintaining stability. Moreover, the airport's management is dedicated to ensuring continued service excellence for passengers. Recent expansions of the International Terminal, along with improvements in passenger flow, highlight their commitment to adapting to increasing demand. These upgrades not only enhance the overall experience, but also solidify the airport's role as a key hub in Japan's transportation network. Although the sinking issue is not yet fully resolved, these ongoing efforts, coupled with a forward-thinking approach, suggest that Kansai Airport will continue to serve as a vital part of the region's infrastructure for the foreseeable future. The combination of technological innovation and strategic improvements offers cautious optimism for the airport's long-term viability. In conclusion, Kansai International Airport's story is one of ambition, innovation, and resilience, Despite its sinking challenges, the airport stands as a testament to human ingenuity and determination. It has provided invaluable lessons for future projects and continues to serve millions of passengers each year. While its long-term survival remains uncertain, Kansai Airport's legacy will undoubtedly endure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more amazing content. Hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our new uploads. See you in the next one.